There's definitely something in the water. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for the next in the lineage of found footage horror movie garbage. This is The Bay. And I actually like the idea of The Bay. The Bay is actually directed by Barry Levinson, who is a pretty decent director. He's directed films like Rain Man, Sleepers, Bugsy, but he's kind of faded away. And this movie didn't help him too much in terms of the critical appeal. However, I really liked his investment in the interest level of what is causing everything to go wrong. These weird little crustacean things that cause this entire town to go absolutely topsy-turvy. And while I like the film, however, there is a kind of a bizarre means in how the story is delivered. What we're getting is these different clips from different sources, from phones, security cameras, a junior news team in the area, different people kind of recording events of the July 4th little extravaganza that goes very, very, very wrong in this movie. And what we find out is that this little town has actually got a little bit of a shady past because it has a mayor that doesn't really give a shit about following ethical rules. And the combination of nuclear waste, chicken excrement, and super, super hormones affecting these little crustaceans, people in the town all of a sudden begin to start being eaten alive from the inside. The idea of what this creature, these little entity things are, is quite horrifying. These things exist, and these are actual things. Could this happen to them? No. The spontaneousness of it, considering there's these two marine researchers who get eaten like two weeks earlier by these things, and then all of a sudden everyone in town is being eaten by them two weeks later. And there are some other aspects of the film that aren't the greatest. Like the girl who is the main news reporter, she's not very good. She's the main narrative voice of the film and she just kind of sounds like a wet sponge. She doesn't have very much going on. Like maybe there is even some lines, some dialogue that would evoke more of an emotional output than she gives. However, I do like how this film is centered. I like how it's used heavily of security camera footage. You can tell he's definitely taking a few notes from Neil Blumkamp in terms of how to portray the visual narrative of his film. I like how they really try to go for that whole, this could have happened, this could happen, this is a somewhat realistic retelling of it. There's a few dramatical moments in the film for sure. There's a lot of jump scare music, which makes no goddamn sense considering the means and how the film is being portrayed in its medium. Which brings me back to my main argument about how I don't know whether this is supposed to be a news recording, whether this is supposed to be a documentary, whether this is supposed to be a retelling but from the future but in the present at the same time. When you think about it for more than five minutes, the film's premise and its entire idea is just kind of thrown out the window, but that's the point of these found footage movies is you're supposed to turn your brain off. But this one does have a little bit of smarts with it. Apparently Barry Levinson actually did a lot of research into the creatures that they use in this film and he wanted to try and portray them in a way that could be believable. I do like some of the horror elements. I'm a big, big fan of random ass pandemic ideas and as well as morphing them into unnecessary found footage movies. I like The Bay. I like how silly it is. I like how committed to its aspects it is. And also considering it is about a outbreak of an unknown disease in a town and the medical staff, the hospital staff are completely overwhelmed. It's not at all bearing on what is happening right now at all. So to say that this film has aged well is kind of a bit of a stretch, but definitely having this whole COVID business going on does help with the whole pandemic slash outbreak slash completely out of our goddamn minds and sign times can be. So in the end, I'm gonna give The Bay a four out of seven. You can find this movie through a Google search. It's pretty fun. I enjoyed it. I've watched this twice now. I remember watching it years ago when I first heard about it through the exact same means I watched it now. So at least to say it has some longevity. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.